she's not like certain to win, but she always wins anyways. Um, but but the other girls are definitely giving her some competition. So it'd be so cool to see uh, like an open comp where it's it's you know men and women. Oh yeah, together. I'd that love would be a lot of fun. Yeah, maybe that's what I should do: arrange an open comp and invite her to that comp. Yes, you know, invite some of the strongest guys as well and see how she would do. Where do you and, think she? Uh, where do you think she lands in the field of of guys that you would be able to bring in and women. Depends on if it's bouldering only or lead and bouldering, I think. Yeah. Uh, and it depends also a little bit who you set for, because a lot of the the men's the boulders for the for the men is, I think, is a little bit reachy maybe for her. Like some of those dinos are like really far, and if you, I mean, she's not that much shorter than than the guys, but she's a little bit shorter, and I think it's probably a disadvantage. But um, I think if you set it a little bit neutral, and you did just a bouldering competition. I think she could be like top three um, in um, even competing with the best guys in the world. So that's a very unique thing about climbing, you know, um, how good, that there's not much of a difference between male and female. Oh, man, I would love to see that. It's interesting. I just interviewed Kai Leitner on the show, and he, he's obviously had an incredibly successful uh, comp career. And when he was a kid, he was competing against adults. He was 13 and competing against adults. And he was saying that uh, women will blow the men away in, in certain styles, like more slab uh, climbing styles and in comps. Maybe the men have the advantage on things that are going to be more powerful type moves. But um, you're right. If things are set to be a little bit more neutral or to play to both sides of the strengths, man, yeah. I think that might give Yanya the edge. Yeah, I think even... I, th I think you, with Yanya, it's probably not so much slabs even. I think it's more like crimpy, powerful problems, just like really small holds. Uh, she's really good at it, and even if it's steep. Uh, as long as the moves aren't like huge, I think that she can keep up with the guys, like the strongest guys in the world, also on those like really powerful, crimpy problems. Yeah, who do you think, uh, you know, obviously Alex Magos is really strong on like the powerful, crimpy type stuff. Who, who's the strongest on that pure, like dynamic coordination dino type stuff? Hmm. Uh, I mean, Tomoa is definitely pretty high up there, I would say. Um, Colin Duffin is also pretty high up there, I think. Uh, when it comes to like campus, dynamic campus bowlers... Just I watched him in the Olympics too, and uh, I was even in Chamonix when he won the World Cup before the Olympics, and he is so powerful. Uh, it's crazy to I think he's one of the most fun people to watch, um, just because yeah he's uh, his, his like pulling strength is just insane. He's so explosive. Uh, I don't think he's as good when it comes to like with his feet and stuff. Probably he's not so technical. But when it comes to explosive upper body power, I think he is the strongest at that. Yeah, it's nuts to watch him. I mean, he's like straight up like orangutan type, you know, the, the, the way <laughs> yeah. he swings and locks off and moves around boulders. It's yeah, it's totally wild how, how he moves, man. I love that. Yeah. You've got some of that in you, though. You like you kind of like to swing and lock off holds. Yeah, he reminds me a little bit about myself, too. But uh, he's a stronger version, though, much stronger, uh, even yeah, much stronger than I was at my prime too. But um, no, it's very. I I feel like it's very entertaining to watch though. Uh, it's just so playful and uh, it's just so bouncy. You know, he's do and he did even didn't he do like a boulder in the Olympics that no one else did? I think he did that like uh, dino to the right, and then you have to dino back to the left and hit that like two finger pocket like that, the split two finger pocket. Yeah, he did that. No one else did it. Uh, seemed like no one else were even close, you know? Um, so that was really cool to watch. Oh, it was crazy. To watch. I screamed so loud when he stuck that thing that like, I, <laughs> yeah. I woke up my house. It was at like 4 a.m. here. And man, it was, it was wild to see. <laughs> All right, y'all. Just a quick shout out here for today's sponsor. The guys who are bringing you this video at zero cost, and that's our friends over at Rungni. You all know Rungni. It's Magnus Mitbo's company. And I'm telling you, they make the best damn climbing pants I've ever put on. Hands down, the harness pants by Rungni are feather light, 
insanely durable. They stretch and they clean up really, really easily. I was just out in Yosemite, actually. I spent this epic 48 hours out there where I illegally camped and I was climbing multi-pitch. I was hanging out with friends. I was even butt sliding down the top of Sentinel Dome in the snow in these pants. And I'm telling you, they held up like a dream. I didn't take them off the entire time. And they looked as good at the end of all of that abuse of that weekend as they did the day I pulled them out of the box. And right now, Rungney's throwing in a free Boulder Heads t-shirt with every pair of harness pants that you buy. Get them in every color. Then you get a bunch of t-shirts as well. Use that code down there, struggle to get a discount to get that free shirt. It's all over there at Rungney. I guess the question is, will Yanya still be taking the gold um, at 40, 50, 60 years old? Because right, <laughs> yeah. right now it seems like uh, there's no end in sight for her. Yeah. No, that's crazy. Um, I definitely think she has a few, few gold medals left in her um, still. But um, but it wasn't. I mean, yeah, she won and she was superior and everything. But she, it's not like uh, it wasn't given from the start. Like if she had just messed up that one baller, um, it would have been very close, right? Uh, and in the lead part, uh, her and Aimori fell at the same move. Yeah, I, I still think it's exciting to watch. I just feel like she must be under such like high pressure. It must be crazy. I can't even imagine. I actually can imagine a little bit because I, I used to feel the same in Norwegian competitions when I competed. That uh, anything, if I if I came second place, it would, everyone would be shocked and would be a big loss and everything. Um, and I would get nervous in the same way and I would climb really bad and stuff. Uh, she does it at an international level, so it's obviously very very different like completely different but um yeah i don't know it doesn't seem so enjoyable to me uh to have that pressure um and i don't know how you would take off the pressure though so um yeah i don't yeah, have I mean, a she, solution for that yeah she seems to handle it well and you're right though like it, it really only takes one slip or you know one misread and and then the field changes, and there was a strong, it was a strong women's field, no doubt, at, at the Olympics. Uh, what about chasing down Yanya down for, for a collab? I've tried to many, many times. It's yeah. not so easy. Yeah, I tried to reach out to her, and I tried, um, but I, I mean, I think it's event, eventually it's going to happen, but um, no, it's been it's, very difficult. So, yeah. um, well, for, but for I, me, uh, <laughs> you've got a much bigger platform than I've got. But, uh, <laughs> needless to say, she's not returning my calls either. Yeah, no, I've talked to her manager and everything. Like, we've been pretty far in the process, but, um, no, she's very busy. And, um, I mean, I understand, rightfully so. She's um, She should focus on her training and everything. So, But I've tried to make it, like, super easy for her. Like, we've said that we can go to wherever she is. She doesn't have to travel. We can do it after a comp, like, wherever. But, um, yeah, no, I... I'm not sure. I think it's yeah, eventually it's going to happen. Um, and I think people are going to be shocked by how strong she is. Hey, if you really liked this conversation here with Magnus, what a good guy. I talked with him for almost two hours on the podcast where he shared all sorts of training tips and tricks and also a bunch of stories that I never heard before. Some crazy ones, in fact. And it's all right there on the podcast for zero cost. So check it out.